Jag håller inte på med sånt här. <laughs> Idrottare. Food for champion. Den är halal va? Just nu bryr jag inte. <laughs> det, det är mörkt där ute. If I try to stand up now, because what I'm looking for is to shoot my leg back here, okay? Sometimes he picks it up, so he so doesn't pass my butt, he picks it up, okay? I'm stuck. Next move, I think about the head. Here, and I'm here. He picked this up. Hey, and I'm here. He's a fight all the time. Okay? Just think about it. Break this up. Yo, Papu, the Magdalena, Grandpa. You're not doing it. This is Ryan with MMA Viking here with Reza Magadi. Uh, Reza, it's been a while since since MMA Viking has talked to you, and we get yes. so many questions about what's going on with Reza, and you've been in the news, and now we see you're back in the gym and training like old times, but we know things are different, and we just wanted to catch up with you a little bit about what's going on with you and kind of, you know, what what's the outlook for Reza Madadi? Yeah, of course, I know I've been gone some months, and I know all the fans around the world and haters, they really want to know what's going on, and here am I. I... It's changed a little bit, but I try to catch up and come back. I had a really hard time, some months, and but you know, it's happening in everybody's life. And now I'm here. So maybe let's go back to uh, the kind of the beginning of the summer. You won a big match in April against Michael Johnson. Yeah. It's an amazing performance, and then shortly after that. Uh, you were going to fight, uh, take a quick fight against Michael uh, Chiesa on the big yeah. Fox card, and then that fell through. And then the next thing we see is your uh, allegations all over the place about you and smash and grab activities. Yeah. What was your reaction when you saw all this media hoopla with accusations about you? <clears throat> what I heard after when I came out from, uh, yeah call it prisoner whatever uh, it was I heard a lot of uh, stuff and things yeah the cops catch me in the they took me in the car and a lot of things and nothing was true I was on, on the way to my car to bring my car and cops told me to stay and ask the question and they were then I, they locked me in three months and uh, uh, without evidence. And you can go read it everywhere. See what they didn't have any any DNA, nothing, nothing that they could prove it. And one of the biggest evidence they had against me was, I don't want to say who drive me to my car. I mean, it's not the evidence because I don't want to say. I don't want to say because I don't want to put the other people in the shit. But uh, let's see. I'm waiting for the next court and hopefully everything gonna be alright. So you're taking this all the way. I know you had an opportunity to appeal the verdict, and you're actually going through with that process. When yeah. when is the next action, or when could we hear something about the, the case next? I don't know, and I'm just waiting and talk to my lawyer today, and I. I want to do it so fast as fast I can, as so soon as possible. Uh, because I'm so tired of all this shit. I just want to show, especially myself, my family, people around me, is uh, is not true. Because I, man, I didn't need it. I'm not fucking stupid. Come on. I, you can ask my manager. I'm waiting for some. Uh, Big job, I mean sponsor job, everything. So I don't need to go and do smashing grab. But let's see what's happened there. Just land, bro. Pop, land, bro. Yeah. Four, three.
normalcy. I, I think now it's, uh, we see you in the gym and you actually look like you're in great great shape. Yeah. Is there some like normalcy to the whole situation just coming in and being with the guys and training? Uh, actually, nah, I don't want to be, wow, I'm a tough guy, tough mentality. But if it was other people in my shoes, I think they're gonna quit and go high somewhere. But and man, you cannot imagine how tough few months I had. But the only choice I have is to keep going, keep my head up and keep going. What can I do? Go high in some corner, or you know what I mean? I mean, that's the life. It's up and down. So. The only choice I have, train harder than before, come back stronger, and show the wall. Here's the fucking mad dog. And my understanding is that you're actually not like suspended by the Swedish MMA Federation. That it's my impression like you actually could take a fight if you wanted. Yes, uh, I never was, and is not any rules. They can ban me, you know, so I uh, talked to Baba, the manager or boss of Superior Challenge, and uh, offered me to fight against David opponent, I don't remember his name, because David get injury, and I want to jump in and fight in 170, but he don't, they don't want it. Baba won it, but the opponent, they said no. They want to choose somebody. Else. So, so you're actively looking if the right opportunity came. Absolutely. You would, you would take a, yeah. a bow. Of course, my goal is to come back to UFC because I say I have 3 0 in UFC. And yeah, of course. I think most people see it that way. Yeah, of course. Those people don't, don't see that way. They must be stupid. So, I mean. Yeah, I have 3-0 in UFC and is no reason. I mean, is no any reason to don't go back to UFC. So it's my goal is to try to get back in UFC. And I take step after step. I, I just sorry. Det där filmar du inte va? Det här filmar. Yes. So, let's see what's up. Okay, I wanted to ask you about two more things that, that happened. One is, um, I mean, you, you beat Michael Johnson and then yeah. he went on to dominate Joe Luozon after. Yeah. When you saw that performance, I assumed you watched, did that somehow like empower you more to see what level you're at? <sighs> yes, a little bit and it remind me to how tough is it? I mean, it's, sorry my language, but it's fucked me mentally. I mean, look, I did a really good job, and in which position I am right now. I mean, it's not too easy to be in my position, in my shoes, believe me. But, like I told you, it's a life, and I'm very glad for Michael Johnson because he was an awesome guy. He, and he did really, really good guy. So, and I cannot say it could be me because it's the MMA fight, it's anything can happen. But I was proud of myself, I can say. I can tell you. Yeah. So, uh, maybe just in closing, first time I thank you for. For your time, I think we have kind of, uh, I don't know, gave you the space until we kind of saw that you were back here, and this is kind of the world where we know you in the you know MMA world, even though we do know you outside. Is there anything else you want to say to fans of MMA in general, or anyone that have questions about you or ideas about about you? Don't believe everything you read and see in the media, because they can 
put it and write it exactly that way they want. I mean, look at the the register of some movie. Or, they make the movie after what they want to show to the people. And I didn't have any power, anything to could show the people, hey, listen, I'm an innocent guy. I didn't, I didn't, I mean, I'm an innocent, but, ah, the time gonna show everything. Okay. Yeah. Good, Reza. Well, thanks again for your time. You're welcome. Nice to see you. And we hope to All see you time. back soon. Thank you. I hope so.